what inspired the song was a past relationship of mine that I was in. Um, and I remember when that broke off, feeling so alone and empty. There's a significant lyric in there that says, um, it goes, I'm thankful for the heartbreak. And I think that when at that point in my life, I was, I was kind of living with blinders on. This is what I want to do. This is the only person for me. There's no one else in the world. And I think that putting yourself through hard times and, and going through all that kind of recreates somebody. I'm definitely a different person now. I remember I was bouncing ideas um, back and forth with my brother. Um, and I, like, as, as a songwriter, I write very metaphorically. And he really pushed me to write more cathartic. Um, so I basically, I stripped the lyrics and I basically uh, really just blatantly wrote what I felt. And it was cool because my brother actually played piano on the song. And that was one of the first times him and I have actually collaborated before. We recorded the song with uh, a friend of mine, Joe Alaspa. Um, we went in the studio with him and he bounced off some ideas back and forth between me and him. It's always cool to work with other people that aren't in the band. I totally felt like they, they pushed me to kind of write a little bit outside of the box I generally would stay in. The use of the 808 kick and snare, I feel like it's super ubiquitous because, you know, we hear that all over mainstream music now and, and almost everything on Top 40 is that. And so I figured um, I would try something different and, and try to incorporate that song um, with, with using stuff like that. It not only gives it a fun, upbeat feeling, but I think that it kind of symbolizes um, a sort of, um, you know, I'm happy again. 